Welcome to Champagne, the birthplace of bubbles. Some of the region's great houses have passed out of family hands. Here, Bruno Payard talks about going against that trend. It's true that uh, I am a different kind of person because I, I have done the absolute uh, other way. Instead of selling my <laughs> heritage, I have created a house from scratch, which is a bit, a bit strange, a bit ridiculous, you know. Not ridiculous, but a bit, a bit, a bit unique, I'm quite unique, in fact. And I, I do that because I have a very precise idea of what I love, you know, the kind of champagne I, I love, the kind, the kind of champagne I like. This year, harvest started August 19th, one of the earliest dates on record. The bubbles in Champagne come from a process known as secondary fermentation, which takes place when yeast is added after the wine has been bottled. Most Champagne is non-vintage, meaning it's a blend of wines from several years. In years when the harvest quality is particularly high, a vintage is declared. Will that happen in 2011? We won't know for a while. At the end, the final customer have only his glass to try. And for me, at the beginning, it's the same thing. And at each step, the most important is the taste. And it's not uh, with the paper and uh, the look of the grape. It's only the 